now today's video I'm going to show you what's in my nail class bag all right so first of all you know you can't do any nails without a fake hand so this is the fake hand that's the fake hand that you get and of course you can't do any nails without a reliable brush all right so we go for Kalinsky and I am doing size number eight okay smaller the better especially when you're in training so definitely you can't do no nails without a good brush and you can't do any nails without something to practice on all right so that's two items in the bag now also when you're finished you know you need your certificate of completion that you came to my workshop and now you're going to be a boss you are going to be bossing up with these nails all right so you, i need you to be proud and i need you to hang this up in your little nail room or, or wherever you are that you know you got trained by the best and um yeah so definitely certificates all right so we have those on deck because students you know they're coming they're coming something's good and they're coming everybody want to learn the nail industry is a big industry and it's booming right now so everybody wants a part of it so so the bags you can change the world literally okay all right so in this bag we have some containers i did purchase these at a regular beauty supply all right it's a travel set now i am thinking these are going to be acetone jars and these are going to be acrylic liquid jars okay these are small enough just for the class and for somebody who's just starting out you don't need too much supplies so this is just enough for the class now this is actually a lot all right so those are containers also can't do any nails without tips now the tips in here i have number fives number sevens six and number tens because those little small fingers that i have training fingers these are the tips that go on them so definitely we have tips all right so we have containers all right these are for our powders we're gonna have white we're gonna have nude we're gonna have clear and then we're gonna have pink all right so there you go you have a nail cutter now you definitely need a cutter now you could use a a nail clipper but i rather a cutter because you never know the circumstance you're going to be under and it's good just to have a cutter you could just go ahead and clamp that baby now we have our striper brushes because even though colored acrylic is you know the thing of, that's going on now people still want you know people still want hand design it's good to learn how to do some hand design the only thing you might have on hand is some regular polish and some clear acrylic so you want to make sure that in any situation any situation you could you know do a little design so it's always good to have your brushes all right so here we go we need scissors because we are going to be doing stilettos coffin shape and all the other shapes so we're going to need something to cut the sides all right and of course we're going to use masks because we're not trying to suffocate okay because sometimes these monomers and who mix with the acrylic the scent can be strong so for for somebody that's not used to doing acrylic nails, I don't need you passing out, so we want to make sure we protect you. All right? So that's good. And of course, you need your files. Bad boys. These are my bad boys. I just love the feel of a new file. Oh, this feels so good. And these are 80, 80 grit. Now, for somebody who's just starting out, I don't know. These might be a little bit too rough, but you're with a good teacher, so you're going to be in good hands. All right? So you got files. Also, we have more hands. We got fingers, okay? So we want fingers. We want you to have as much training as possible, all right? So this is 10 and 10. That's 20 fingers, all right? Now we got some glue right here, nice and tight, locked tight, nothing falling off, all right? We also have, say, monomer containers, okay? That's for acrylic liquid. I probably just use some for a little acetone. You know, just 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 have them abundant. You never know. Of course, your buffers, your buffing block. All right, this is just a regular buffing block. All right, and of course, my go-to, what I use, you're gonna use. All right, so definitely, nail light. That is my store. Okay, high gloss, tackless sealer. All right, see what it says. UV no clan stop cope. All right, so this is my gel seal. All right, this is one of my big secrets. 
I mean, the nail stays shiny forever. Ever. Okay, so you're getting that too. And then we got 3D brushes. Now I am gonna be teaching some, some kind of 3D art. So definitely we need some 3D brushes. And let me see what else is in here. We need empty jars. These are for your rhinestones. Yes, we are gonna be putting some rhinestones in here because you are gonna be learning how to put these Swarovskis on so they won't fall off. Clients paying 10 and 15 dollars a nail. They're gonna need every single stone to be on their hand until they come back. All right, and then nail glue, of course. You know, we gotta put the tips on with the nail glue. All right. And also I have some flames, okay? So this is new, flames are out, now everybody's wearing you know, flames on their hands. So of course you're doing a class, I need to keep you up to date. So that's one of the designs I'm gonna be giving. Um, also, I'm gonna put some of these in one of the designs. So in my class I'll probably typically do maybe about seven or eight designs. You know, some colored acrylic, some glitters, so forth, so forth. So, not to give you too much because I want to save some for my designer class. And this class is a basic acrylic class. So that's pretty much most of the stuff you'll get. And of course, I'm not going to give a drill. You have to bring your own drill because whatever you could do with a drill, you could do with a file. And since you're practicing, I wouldn't even use a drill in the beginning. But, you know, everybody's using drills. So I'm going to teach you both ways. I'm going to teach you using a drill and I'm definitely going to be teaching you to use a file. All right, and you know, everybody know I got Old Faithful, Bella Nail Drill, or Bell Nail Drill. They corrected me, but hey, who cares? Bella Nail Drill for me. All right, so yes, Old Faithful is still going strong. Oh, and of course the basic, you know, cotton balls and all the other stuff I already have. So the stuff I already have, I'll just work with that, but these are the stuff, you know, that's pretty much gonna be in the kit and so forth. And you do get a nice little bag. <laughs> you do get a bottle of bubbly. All right, so hey, we are gonna be turned up for our class. We're gonna be learning, gaining skills, you know, and we are going to be hype up in here and we are excited for our classes and you are gonna have a good time. You're gonna learn and you are going to get a workshop certified, all right? So thank you for watching Jules Nails and if you like what's in my nail class bag, then go ahead and like this video, subscribe for more videos, okay? And just go ahead and watch my rest of videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right? So now if you've came this far in the video, then evidently you must like this video or guess what? You've been watching this video. So just go ahead and subscribe anyway. Now tell me um, what you think about what's in my nail class bag if I forgot anything unnecessary. Oh, you know what? I did forget something. Um, nail bit. Well, I don't think this is something I'm going to give in the bag. I'm probably just gonna let them practice with this and then I'm gonna let them purchase their own. All right, because you can't really give everything in a class. So you're gonna give them the most. So when they leave here, they could go home and practice. These they're taking home. They could practice with that all day. All right, they're taking home everything that's in this bag. And what's not in this bag is stuff that they are going to be using that they have to get on their own. So pretty much that's just a drill. That's probably all they need. If they already got a drill, then they could bring a drill. All right, so thank you for watching Jules Nails, the business of nails. And tell me what you think about what's in my nail class bag. Leave a comment below or you could tell me what's in your nail class bag. Or if I forgot something that you think I need to put in this bag, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.